So welcome to the Wasabi Wallet uh, past, present and future. Um, we've been working on these uh, on this Bitcoin wallet since 2015, uh, where it was still hidden wallet with a small number of contributors and no mainnet users at all. Uh, then Wasabi Wallet got born, more people started to work on it, uh, more users, uh, more volumes of coin joins, uh, and the software got better and better until Wasabi 2.0. Uh, where we worked hard on making it fundamentally better. That was a lot of work and is now leading to a much more stable soft or software with much more potential. We're starting to get large numbers of 2.0 users, uh, larger than we had uh, in 1.0 in the past, um, even though we're still not yet at all time highs, uh, but especially in contributor account, we're growing like crazy. The problem uh, the, that we have always been faced is that was using Bitcoin privately is difficult, slow, expensive and insecure. Uh, and it has to get better on all of these fronts. Uh, and we believe that a single software wallet can, can address this uh, and, and start a nice ecosystem. Um, so Wasabi Wallet is designed to do that, to make it really easy and fast uh, and cheap and secure uh, to receive and spend Bitcoin privately. Uh, and that has a lot of benefits. So one of the things we started recently then was marketing the software that we have developed and that is now available uh, with yeah, just much more public engagement, uh, paid advertisements, integrating Wasabi into other software wallets, uh, Trezor and BTC Pay, for example, uh, getting more businesses and, and uh, yeah, serious people to use Wasabi. Our customer base is huge fundamentally every bitcoin cost uh, every bitcoin owner uh, specifically those who make blockchain transactions um, they can be uh, doing them in coin joins and obviously all shitcoin users uh, so other cryptocurrencies other fiat currencies basically everyone who, who's using money um, could potentially be using wasabi it's a big market that we already are addressing right now and we can do even more in the future why are people not using us fundamentally um, one big part is they don't know of us uh, that might probably be the biggest uh, that it's still too expensive too difficult and too slow and not secure enough uh, so the core problems are still not fundamentally addressed <laughs> another big criticism of why people are not using coin joins yet is uh, about exchange blacklisting so being perceived as a dangerous person <laughs> when using CoinJoin and then not getting certain services, which happens to some small numbers of users and that leaves a larger amount of users being deterred. Uh, so that has to be addressed as well. Now, what do we do in the future? How do we make everything bigger and better? Uh, how do we scale this up? There are numerous, numerous different uh, things to do. Uh, coin control, uh, it, it gives us a small, improvement in, uh, let's say, profits or, or revenue, uh, and it doesn't cost too much money. Uh, so that might be something to still do in the future to give users more optional control and insight about their their money. The privacy warnings, another small one uh, that uh, could be done uh, just as, yeah, we have a couple small, uh, small ones on here, but the next big one is hardware wallet coin joins. Uh, that is coming with the Trezor integration and will be an important part. Uh, lots of work, uh, but that will unlock a lot of liquidity as it addresses the problem of insecurity. Um, signing contract transactions uh, on and offline signing devices is very cool. Um, languages and internationalization, uh, another obvious key one, uh, where we want to talk to or want more people who don't speak English natively or very well. Um, or at all, uh, to still be able to use Wasabi. The, the mobile wallet is a huge effort to do, to do it right and to do it with a great UX uh, that's especially fast and easy to use. Uh, so that's a, a big effort where we want to get to in the long term, but uh, not, not in the short term. A big one is, is the integrations, the business to business side of getting Wabi Sabi into other wallets uh, to be able uh, to, to unlock a lot more demand of, uh, of the user base of other wallets 
uh, to be able to uh, coordinate with us. Contacts would be an interesting feature to, again, make the default UX easier. Uh, we could abstract what an address is uh, and just pay to, pay to a contact uh, and move more complexities into the background uh, to have an easier default. Improving Tor, making Tor 10 times better is a big task, quite difficult, uh, and will hopefully help us scale and stabilize the software. Tor was a bottleneck in the past. I guess if we improve it, that's always a good thing, but will probably be expensive. And having a easier UX is certainly a, a key feature. The main problem is the difficulty of use for Bitcoin privacy tech, so it should be easier uh, and doable for the default user without much worry. That's always a priority. Uh, Lightning network integrations uh, make it cheaper uh, to make payments and have certain privacy and uh, speed improvements. So we can work on lightning, or we are working on lightning already uh, in the research phase, but it's still a, lo a lot of work and a lot of money needs to be invested to make that happen. Chat functionalities are another useful feature uh, to coordinate payments. Somewhat goes together with the contacts list. Uh, so these are nice to have features in the wallet. Marketing, however, is a big one. Uh, we already have a great piece of software. A big problem is that people don't know of us yet. So we uh, can just shout about Wasabi from the mountaintops and get more people to be uh, excited about well, solving the problems of, of money and using Wasabi as a solution. Then uh, one final point is to have good relationships with well, different important people in the ecosystem. Uh, to get them to be excited about uh, Wasabi and, and privacy tech and ensure long-lived positive relations between us and, and everyone else. Uh, and that's how we ultimately fix the money and fix the world, uh, just by well, making it easier, cheaper, faster and more secure to use money privately. Next, we buy Microsoft, I guess just to sell it again later.